Nech Pachwai, Ink Nashwanek Sha Karina Miller. My name is Karina Miller and I grew up here on the Warm Springs Indian Reservation. Karina Miller has been an enrolled member of the Warm Springs, Wasco, and Yakima tribes all her life. Now, she's also the chair of the Columbia River Gorge Commission, the organization that oversees land use policy for some of the Northwest's most exquisite scenery. It's our job to use the management plan to make sure that we're protecting the national scenic area. It's the first time the commission has been led by an indigenous person. Ro Miller said she is honored to hold. She's known how special the gorge is since she was a kid. My grandma and my great-grandma fam, Fanny Wahenica, they would specifically take me to the river, take me on just drives, take me to go eat, and talk to me about us needing to have a presence there, about the removal and relocation of our tribe to this area, but that we still had ties back there. The commission has a tricky job. It's in charge of coming up with a management plan for a federally designated national scenic area that spans six counties, two states, and nearly 300,000 acres, all the way from Troutdale to out past the Dalles. Miller said the commission's job was twofold, advancing the economic interests of the people who live and work in the gorge, while also protecting the natural beauty that brings so many people to visit. I would say it's really complicated to work with people when there's so many different views within these communities, and we are trying to balance these two things that are often pitted against each other. And there's no shortage of issues for the commission to tackle. On top of updating the management plan, the organization is currently finalizing a plan to address the threats of climate change in the gorge, namely, rising water temperatures, and wildfires. Watching climate change take a toll on the area has been personal for her, Miller said. Climate change, forest fires, all these things are going to have huge negative impacts in every aspect, economically, environmentally, for me, spiritually. Even with the wide variety of viewpoints on the commission, Miller said she's confident they are making meaningful progress. We have everyone on board. Everyone is moving in the same direction of, this is an issue for all of us, and here's how we're gonna deal with it. Despite the complexities of her new role, Miller said her tribal background has prepared her well. It's nothing new for me to walk into something completely overwhelming, to be able to untangle a knot and rebraid it into something super accessible and clean, because that's what being a tribal leader is, that's what being a tribal advocate is. And she traces her ability to lead all the way back to those drives she took with her family as a kid. So for me, what's really special is those drives with my grandmas, they stuck and they taught those lessons and they gave me that self-actualization to come into these places and know I belong. Kale Williams, KGW News.